Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we will create a time leap hello world example. Well, here are the development steps. First, we will create a handler method to handle HTTP request and this handler method returns the model and view. Next, we will create a time leap template as a view and we will display model data. Or it's pretty simple, just we need to create a handler method to handle the HTTP request and this handler method will return the model and view and then we will create a simple time leap template view and then we will display the model data. So let's go to integer idea and let's create a simple time leap hello world example. Well, first of all, we need to create a handler method, right? For that, we need to create a Spring MUC controller. So go to time leap main package and here, let me quickly create a new package and let's call it as controller. Within a controller, we keep Spring MUC controllers. Next, right click on controller package new and then choose Java class and let's give controller name as hello world controller perfect next let's go ahead and let's annotate this class with add controller annotation from org.springframework.stereotype package well once we annotate this class with add controller annotation then this class becomes a spring muc controller and this class is capable to handle http request next within this spring muc controller we create a handler method so let me write the comment over here handler method to handle hello world request perfect next let's go and let's create the method just type public and let's view return type of the method is string and let's view method name as hello world all right and let's annotate this method with at get mapping annotation well we use get mapping annotation to handle http get request and let's give url here that is let's say hello world okay and here in order to store the model data we have to use model interface from org.springframework.ui package so let us select model interface here and then next let's store some data in a model for example model dot so this model provides add attribute method and notice here there are a couple of overloaded add attribute methods. We are going to choose the first one. It takes two parameters. So go ahead and choose this add attribute method. And here we need to pass post parameter as a attribute name. Let's view attribute name as message. And let's view attribute value as hello world. Perfect. And in order to access this hello world attribute value in a timelip template we have to use this attribute name okay we'll see how we can access this attribute value by using this attribute name bit later now we have added a data to the model next we need to return the view so let's view view name as hello hyphen world perfect now we have created a handler method it will handle http get request with the url hello world and within this handler method we have stored hello world data in a model and we have returned the hello world view next we will create a hello world time leap template view and then we will display this model data so here before that let me write the complete url http localhost colon 8080 slash hello world well whenever user hit this link in the browser then this handler method will get called and this handler method return this timelip template view right so let's go and let's design hello world timelip template view so let me copy this view name and go to templates folder and within the templates folder let's create a html file and let's give name as hello world okay so remember by default spring boot will look for all the timelip templates under this templates folder hence we have to keep all the timelip templates under this templates folder okay now we have created hello world.html file next let's go and let's write the code so here let me write the title something like time leap hello world example something like that next we need to configure namespace for time leap well in order to use time leap syntax in this html file we have to define a namespace for time leap at the beginning of this html page for example go to this html element and here we need to define the xml namespace so just type xml namespace colon th and then http 
डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट थाइमलिप डॉट ओ आर जी सो दिस इज बेसिकली ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट ऑफ थाइमलिप एंड इन आर्डर टू यूज थाइमलिप सिंटेक्स इन दिस एस टी एम एल फाइल वी हैव टू डिफाइन एक्स एम एल नेम स्पेस फॉर थाइमलिप एट एट बिगनिंग ऑफ दिस एस टी एम एल पेज लाइक दिस नेक्स्ट लेट्स गो आर एंड लेट्स डिस्प्ले द मॉडल डेटा वेल इफ यू गो टू हेलो वर्ल्ड कंट्रोलर एंड गो टू दिस हैंडलर मैथड इन हैंडलर मैथड वी हैव स्टोर्ड दिस हेलो वर्ल्ड स्ट्रिंग इन अ मॉडल राइट नाउ लेट्स गो एंड लेट्स डिस्प्ले दिस हेलो वर्ल्ड स्ट्रिंग बाई यूजिंग दिस मैसेज अट्रीब्यूट नेम ओके लेट मी शो यू हाउ वी कैन डू दैट सो गो टू हेलो वर्ल्ड डॉट एस टीम एल पेज अगेन एंड गो टू बॉडी विद इन अ बॉडी लेट्स हैव अ एस टू एलमेंट एंड देन हियर विद इन एस टू एलमेंट लेट्स टाइप टी एच कोलन टेक्स्ट वेल थैमली प्रोवाइड्स टी एच कोलन टेक्स्ट अट्रीब्यूट टू डिस्प्ले द टेक्स्ट वेल वी आर गोन टू बेसिकली एक्सेस द जावा वेरिएबल फॉर दैट we need to use a variable expression and here is the syntax dollar within a curly braces we just need to pass attribute name in our case it is a message for example if you go to hello world controller we are using attribute name as a message attribute value as a hello world okay in order to access this hello world attribute value we have to use this attribute name isn't it this is what we are doing in a hello dot html page we are using attribute name to access attribute value by using variable expression so this is called variable expression okay dollar within a curly braces we need to pass attribute name in order to access the attribute value and here th colon text is a thymlip attribute it will evaluate this expression and it will print the result all right we will learn more about this th colon text thymlip attribute as well as variable expression in upcoming lectures now let's go ahead and let's run our spring boot application and let's see how this thymlip hello world example works so let me go to main entry point class of the spring boot project i am from here we can run our spring boot application all right notice here our spring boot application is up and running in a embedded tomcat server on port 8080 next let's go to browser and let's access our thymlip application well if you go to hello world controller here we have a url right so let me copy this url and go to browser and in a new tab just paste it and just hit enter and there we go you can able to see hello world is printed in a web page it means that we have successfully created thymlip hello world example well let me recap what we have done in this lecture we have created a hello world controller within that we have defined the handler method to handle hello world request and within this handler method we have stored hello world string in the model and next we have returned the hello world thymlip template view next we have created hello world thymlip template view and we have displayed the hello world string by using this thymlip variable expression all right great i will see you in the next lecture